Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm gonna be going over one of my newest favorite trading platforms, which is called Sway Charts, okay? Sway Charts, they have version one, and then they have this, Sway Charts Pro. So the platform that I'm using right now is Sway Charts Pro. So I personally like the Pro version, um, it's because it gives me every last thing that I need to use. It's like taking MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 in TradingView, and they had a baby, and they came out with this, Sway Charts Pro. So Sway Charts Pro is only for Sway Market. So go ahead and click that link down below to actually register and get access to use this incredible trading platform, Sway Charts Pro. So now let's get straight right into it. So when you actually use Sway Charts Pro, um, you're going to go ahead and you're going to make sure that you have this little tab here selected and it's going to pull out this long menu for you. Um, there's many different options that you could pick from. Um, you got the home option, which kind of like looks like this. Then you have the chart option where it just pulls out a chart where you could actually use it as a charting platform. Um, you got your buy option and sell option up here. You can um, have one click trading enabled so you can put in your lot size. And you can see all of these different time frames you want on the bottom here. I personally have a couple of different charts of gold so it's because of my training style. Um, and if you want to add another uh, widget on the bottom, you go ahead and you can click this plus sign and it will actually copy the chart and you can go ahead and change your time frames on there. I should go to the top here. Um, you can go ahead and click this and you can go ahead and change the minutes. Um, as you can see, it goes from M1 down to M30. You can see the hours from H1 down to H12, the days, the daily, the weekly, the monthly, and even has a tick chart, which I don't personally use. But, and if you do want to change um, the pair, you could go ahead and click this twice and it'll pull up um, all of the pairs that Sway actually has. And if you want to favorite anything, you could go ahead and click the golden star and the favorites will show you the pairs that you actually like to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. So. And if you also want to type in something, you can actually, you know, go ahead and you can type it in as well. And it will load the pair um, that you can see here. So I personally like Sway Charts Pro for like its inability, the ability to actually do a lot of different things. Um, if you want to save your workplace, you could go ahead and click save workplace, call it for whatever you want. And if you want to load the workplace, you can go here, click load and um, load the charts that you actually have so i loaded basically these charts this is my um, layout that i like to use and what's pretty cool is that when you're actually using the system it actually um gives you that flexibility like i said to like have fun like you're using trading view or metatrader and i honestly feel like a platform like this um has a lot of you know growth to it and it's just so innovative it's so sleek i love it uh, when it comes down to like really using this, you have tons of tools. But before we get into anything else, I'm going to continue breaking down this left side menu. Now, when it comes down to going down here, you can go ahead and click quotes. You can see the pairs you have here. These pairs is my favorites. Um, that's me, basically my market watch. Um, you can see the bid, the, sh the ask, the spread, the lots, the net profit. And basically how you do that is very simple. So, Let's go into this. The first button is view. You can click it, it shows grid, which is pretty much everything you can see here. Um, if you go to deal tickets, you can see all of the pairs that you have inside of your watch list, but I like to have grid selected. Um, when you go click show, you can have spread, position, and you have these other tools, but I don't have those selected. I honestly just have spread and position checked where you can see spread and the lots and the net profit. So if I have a trade open, it would say how many lots is open and how much profit I am in by just simply having the position checked, okay? Now price changes, I have this selected only on for label um, and pretty much just have single select, no multi-select and just, just, you know, just basic default settings. Um, the list is pretty cool because you can load your favorites, um, you can load your market list or whatever you have. And you can even add different things to your watch list. You can edit, you can, you know, do all types of different things here with lists. When it comes down to tools, um, if you are selecting the market, you can click all markets, you can load the template, you can have a list, you can do batch orders, um, even you can put in new orders just off of just by going to the quotes. Now, if you're in any trades, this menu here is pretty cool. It would tell you what type of trades you have open. Um, and obviously, I'm going to have nothing open up right now. I'm not trading right now. 
Um, so there's nothing to see here, but when you do have trades, it would definitely show there. Now, if you go to account history, this is pretty cool. Uh, so when you're actually looking at this, I'm very transparent. Uh, this is actually my real account. So when Space Charts launched, I actually was um, playing around with some of this stuff that they had with the low volume and you know being in and out trades, just testing it out before I actually started taking it serious because I actually had to learn the platform. With anything new, you gotta learn, okay? So when you're actually putting money into your Sway Charts account, especially Sway Charts Pro, it starts fresh new settings, fresh new data, fresh new everything. Okay, so as I scroll, this is just their analysis uh, part of their history that you can see um, of what you have open, winners and losers and everything about, you know, how you've been trading, what type of pairs you've been trading, um, you know, the totals, day to week, the month, it has all this data, but it also has insights, what type of markets, on percent returns you've been having, what is the best return, what is the worst return, it shows you everything, then you have your list. Now the list is pretty cool. So basically what I like to do for my list is to make sure to have the filter on, the summary on, the grouping on. The grouping, I make sure that it says markets. So it gives me everything that I need. Um, and I don't really have nothing much here, but if I did move, let's say a column over, as you can see here, I'm moving columns. If I do move anything over, I could go here to reset and reset columns and then go back to default. But what I like about the list um, of your account history is it shows you how much money got deposited, how much money were you redrawing, what type of pairs you have been trading. And as you can see here, your USD, I did a test um, lot size here. Um, but this did result in a loss. It shows you that I lost money. It shows you that these are the pips, okay? Um, and it shows you that this is the percent of the return. Now, once I minus that out in the top, you can see all the pairs that gold um, have been trading. You can see everything. Um, one of the things you're going to notice on here is that, okay, gold, as you see, the first position, I did 10 lots. There was 1.6K in return. I did 16.9 pips. And as you can see here, it was a 0.32% return based upon the account balance. Now, all of these trades are red here because, once again, these were all testers. I was just in and out positions. This trade, I was actually trading for real, and I was waiting for some setting updates, which was due to Fibonacci. They added it. And then I took another trade that ended up in a loss, and it is what it is. That was during this time period. Then once they added the futures that I needed, because uh, Sway charts, if you do want to add futures, they actually allow you to you know, request them, and they will do their best to add them. So I finally got the Fibonacci settings that I needed, which was to have negative fibs, because it only was giving us positive um, numbers on the Fibonacci. It didn't allow us to add any negatives. So now that I finally did that, I went up in my lot sizes, and I was able to trade what I actually like to trade, and I felt comfortable. So as you can see here, um, these 100 lot orders, I had a 12.8K return. I did 13.5 pips. And as you can see here, the return here was a 2.63%. There was another trade at 21,500 in profit, 22 pips, and the return was 4.30%. As you can scroll, you can even set the time of the, the calendar that you wanna look at to see when it's open. You can put the day, of week, the hour of the day, the month of the year. You can put the start time, the end time, or a fixed time. And you can pick your date through a calendar. So it gives you the times to like really look for what you want to see. Um, as you can see here, it tells you what time the close of the price was, the open price, the stop loss, the take profit, how much profit, how much commission. So you can see the difference here is really was $22,200 of profit minus $700 of commissions and netted 21,500. And um, you can see the 21,500 withdrawal, which is right here for that account. Now. One of the things that I do also like about having Sway Charts Pro to um, my day-to-day -day operations when I do trade is that they have this thing called the currency strength calculator. Um, so you could like literally see your currency strengths. Uh, you could set it for short term, medium term, long term. You could get a custom term. So you could see um, the sentiments of what you're looking for. Now, you also have a mailbox whenever they do updates, I guess. I haven't got nothing in my mailbox yet. You can even go to settings. And you could change, before I even show you that, let me go back into this chart. All right, boom. So we could go into settings. Now, the reason why I went back into this real quick is that the colors that you have, you can set your theme to dark, blue, light. Um, you can play with it any way you want to. I like having mine on light. Now, my long positions, I set for black. So my buys are going to be black. My short positions are going to be blue. Or you can play around with the default settings if you want. 
Uh, pretty much everything on my training side is pretty standard. I haven't really edited nothing over here. Same thing for confirmations. If you do want to have confirmations, you can turn on confirmations. I don't have nothing selected. Notifications are left on default. I did turn on balance change um, as one of the ticks. Now display is pretty default. Small screens is default and time zones. This is what MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 have at the time zones. Um, when it comes down to setting appearance separators, so this is GMT plus two. So as you can see here, um, my general time zone is GMT plus two and my default time zone is GMT plus two. So pretty much I'm not touching anything on there. And that's like some of my settings. Now, what's pretty cool about Sway Charts is that if you click any of the Sway Charts logos, it pulls up um, the, the new order. So you could actually go here as well. And this is the simple layout. I make sure that I have my set to full so I get all my options and I have show calculation enabled. I don't save no templates on this, but you can if you want to create a custom version um, when you pull out our order. Now, I set mine once again for full just because it allows me to set a market order, a, a limit order, or a stop order. If I want to change my lots to a different thing, I can. I could put a cash risk. Let's say I want to risk $10,000. It allows me to. Um, pretty simple by even changing let's say i want to risk pips and i want to risk uh, 100 pips it tell me okay cool this is what your order would be it would be 10 lots at 100 pips and it would give you a 10k risk and i could click buy or sell into that option from just clicking uh this menu right here so that's pretty cool now if i want to go to positions it shows you what type of positions you have open if you have anything open once again i don't have nothing open so there's nothing to see here and if you want to go ahead and click this tool button, which is pretty cool because you can see all these tools that Sway actually has uh, where most brokers don't have, which honestly, this is what kills the game. So if you want to go ahead and click this tool to see your account history, it pulls out a widget just so you can see your account history. While you're actually looking at your charts, it shows you what you want to see. Um, as you see here, I'm looking at gold. And that goes back into the same list options that I do have as I described earlier. Now. When it comes down to clicking this button as well, speaking of counters, we actually favorite that. So when you favorite something, it actually shows here by clicking the gold star. Um, as you can see here, there's tons of different tools. You could go ahead and play with it, but for the most part, they do have everything you need when it comes down to this. If you want a clock, it has a clock. You can set it for any of the sessions that you are trading or just looking at a default time session. Um, even while you're looking at the clock, it does has a ton of different options and you have your calendar if you want to go look at the calendar for news with the base upon the impacts you can even check the news by clicking news uh, and it will actually show you um i'm calling it it will actually show you the website if there is anything clickable to direct you to it so it actually talks about the news for you it takes you there which honestly is also pretty cool you can even click news items you can have reading lists you can have news feeds like, you know, it, it, there's a lot of different things you could do and play with this stuff. And it's, I feel like that's very innovative, um, especially when you are trading. Like you can just have everything in one place. So it being a web training platform, I could go ahead and customize my charts as much as I want on my PC, pull out my MacBook Pro, log into my web training terminal, and still have everything saved, all my settings. It doesn't go nowhere. So I feel like that's something that we can really take advantage of on a day-to-day -day basis when we are trading. Now, once again, they do have all of these options. They have tons of different options, but it's up to you to decide which ones you want to go look into and, you know, to play with. Now, one of the options I do want to go over is the scripts. Now, scripts is pretty cool. Um, the reason being is that you could trade, well, you could bring on anything that you used to trade with the EA or AI on MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, where you want to just simply create your own bot, EA or AI. Um, the the, the language that Sway uses is JavaScript, C script, my bad, JavaScript, C sharp, and Python. So there's three, once again, JavaScript, C sharp, and Python. Those three platforms, um, you could go ahead and code and you could create your own um, EA or AI onto this platform as well. So it's pretty cool, right? And then just going into this real quick, you can scroll down and like look into everything that you want to see. If you want to look into charting data, market data, news, price action news, 
it pretty much has everything price action news is pretty cool because it's telling you the sentiments of what's going on and you know this is once again tons of different tools you can even click your balance up here and it'll pull out this little menu and you can nickname your accounts which i think is pretty cool so i named mine obviously my life are quick um you can see my balance what type of floating pnl i have what open percent of my profit i have open the margin you use and it gives you this little toolbar um like a gauge thing and it like tells you how much profit is up and down how much margin it pretty much gives you full flexibility and i feel like that's something that's pretty cool when you are charting on sway charts pro um you can see how the trade setup is and i'm just going to cover some of these things as well here um as you can see it says candles when you click this little tab candles it has different candlestick options um it has line mountain baseline high low it has other options here haikanashi bar averaging renko candlesticks range column hl bars line break kaji point and figure i just really just use the regular candles i don't use hollow i don't use ohlc bars i don't use hlc bars i just use regular candlesticks but once again you can play with all of this stuff um as much as you want now this is pretty cool the mouse button right here um i always have my selected to move but if you want to have a crosshair as you can see here it changes the button for you if you want to select the arrow which is the mouse you can if you want to move your charts around like how i do um, i usually once again have my selected to move if you want to measure out a candlestick you go ahead and click measure and you can simply go here click from one point to another point and um it would tell you how much like it's really up as you can see here it says b pips negative 59.2 so it's telling you it's 59.2 pips tells you the percent tells you how many bars and i feel like that's pretty cool and if you look at it from the top to the bottom right here it's like a little trend line that basically tells you the, the pips moving around on the chart now if you go ahead and go here as well you can see that you click move you go back into your normal settings and then here is pretty cool you got your indicator list you could go here add an indicator you can go here and select all you can see all of the tons of different indicators sway charts pro has and this is one of the reasons why i like using sway charts pro more than regular sway charts because they have a lot more tools for people that actually like to trade um aggressively or non-aggressively it doesn't matter what your style is they have everything so that's one of the things i do like um when it comes down to favorites i did favorite these options here i did select adx from that bar uh for that menu uh period separators are an indicator but it's a strength index and simple moving averages i do have those selected now when i do go here to select my indicators i you'll see all the ones that once again have favorited you can see the indicators that i do have in use um i do have those hidden so as you can see here it says high names and main panel or high main panel indicators so if i hide main panel indicators you will not see them no more it's now just a pure white chart but if i want them back i go back down to main panel and now you can see them now also when i go to indicators and i want to let's say have my indicators shown here i can you can even go ahead and click the gearbox and go into the settings on them over there or you could simply just have all your indicators hidden and when you do want to go use them you could go here and then um, go to indicators in use and click them individually right here and as you can see uh, the period separators i'm on an h1 time frame so you can see that there's tons of different time frames to set your periods so these are my settings um if i'm on an h1 time frame i do want to have the d1 selected because i'm intraday trading so this is from a full 24 hours which is from a day-to-day -day operation obviously intraday training so you're training within a day so h1 i have my period separator set to that so i have that set perfectly fine uh, you can change the color of what you want your period separators to look you can put levels on it you can put bands on it you can put options these options is honestly showing you everything that i do have on a day-to-day -day basis um the settings are pretty much you know straightforward all right so i'm back to it i quickly paused so i'm back in motion all right y'all so um pretty much so you got the options of playing with many different things when it comes down to your indicators once again um for whatever you do want to use so even for my movie averages i use three different movie averages i have a 50 i have a 100 and i have a 200 when you go ahead and click the smas um pretty much it's set to default settings I just put the period to 50 you can change the color to red i like using these dotted lines um i just think they look cool when it comes down to um, a clean layout on the charts you got your levels you got your bands you got your alerts 
which options. If you do want to send an alert on your moving averages, you can. Um, even has like an alert if it was a cross price was across the moving average, cross above the moving average, or cross below the moving average. You can send an alert. I don't use alerts. Um, the options is pretty much you know set to what it needs to be. I like to have everything shown in background, so it makes my candles appear on the top, so it's nice and clean. Um, and then once again, so the visibility is pretty standard. So all these moving averages are all the same. The only difference is they change in color. So my 50 is red, my 100 is green, and my 200 is blue. It's all the same segments, by the way. But um, yeah, so that goes into the indicators. And once again, you can select tons of different indicators. But the ones I like to use is ADX, my moving averages, my relative strength index, and my period separators. And I currently do not have my ADX or RSI set up. And I don't plan to right now because I've been liking the clean layout. But I do have to enable those in time. Now, if you were to click this pencil, you go down to drawings. You, once again, you can set different drawings um, to your favorites as well. And as you can see, go ahead and click all. They have all of these different drawings that you could do. There's tons of them. You know, you go ahead, you select which ones you like, you put uh, your favorite dates, and um, you're good to go. You start playing with what you want to play with, and it's pretty, once again, simple. Um, there's another one I like to use, which is Note, and I'm going to go ahead and explain that one in a second. So I just went ahead and favorited it. But you have tons of different options here. And, um, and you get, what I like about this is if you want to go ahead and play with some of these things, um, you can. I don't know what freehand does, so I'm just going to make this pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, you have like tons of different options. Um, when it comes down to drawing, I'm going to go ahead and actually favorite that. I guess that's, that was pretty cool. What is Polyline? Oh, this is cool too. All right. So yeah, pretty much you get a whole bunch of different options to like really play with. And, um, you know, I, I feel like when it comes down to trading, we want those type of options, right? So you could favorite all of those different tools and there'd be right here in your box. So when you actually go into drawing, you go to favorites and you can go ahead and select anything that you want to use on a day to day. Even a note, if you want to add a note, you can. So yeah, you just go ahead and pick square, and you know, you could like literally pick what you want. I thought that was something different. I can't even hold you. But the point is, you can have a lot of different options. Um, even if you want to take something off, like right there, like, no, I don't like it. I'm going to take it off. Boom, it's gone. So you have those options. But the main options that I like to use is Fibonacci retracement. So when I go over here in drawing, I don't really typically use the Fibonacci retracement right here because it's not saved. So this is the pretty much a default one, um, but you do have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain what's the difference between this one and the one you see on my chart in a second, because there's certain tools that you do use, which you, you do pull them out, but they need to have your own set of presets. And when you do set them as a preset, um, that would be the diamond over here. I will get into that in a second after I'm done covering this um, tools for um, joints. Now, when it comes down to icons, it's self-explanatory. You can set different icons. You know, you can play with it. You can change the colors of anything that you want to use. And I feel like that gives you like an edge uh, when it comes down to like really, you know, playing around with different things when it comes down to actually, you know, trading. So you can change the different icons for what you want. And um, you can easily go ahead and right click it you can click clone and you can just drag them over as you can see here you have different icons you can play with you can delete them okay and then there's other options as well as you can see here you can have magnets so when you draw in on your charts it automatically connects to your candlesticks as you can see here, my magnet says individual drawing settings. So each um, drawing that I do has its own individual setting. I don't want them to be used on magnets. 
as you can see here drawings in use anything that you do have in your charts you can actually go to drawings in use and you can delete all drawings or delete individual drawings you can even hide all drawings so you don't see them on the charts at any given time so it's like like i said meditator for meditator 5 had a baby with trading view and it created swing charts pro so you have a lot of different tools now when it goes down to the presets is which i like to use this which is this diamond here you can go ahead and create a preset for any indicator that you want or any drawing that you have up that you want okay now very simple as well you can even go click one of the presets um as you can see here i already have one done and it pretty much like it looks like the the fibonacci that's here on the bottom now to set a preset is pretty easy you go ahead and you select the drawing that you want to use you go ahead and you right click it like i said i have everything in a short background but what you're going to want to do is go to settings now while i'm in the settings menu you have the option to now fully copy my fibonacci settings which is all of these numbers here um as you can see it's pretty standard the one and the 1.1 i use our stop losses so you can see them red but everything else is blue and the negative fibonacci numbers um is my take profit so like i was saying earlier they didn't have the option to make um negative numbers but that did become an option which now allows me to fully trade how i like to trade um you know having the full stop losses in my fibonacci which is a preset all the entry points i use off of fibonacci and my take profits but as you can see here once again i selected this dotted line um because i like everything nice and clean here's blue on everything uh which is literally this blue right here this is the one i like to use on all of these options and then you know simple red now the settings um is pretty simple as you can see here i have everything set this way i don't want no background shown so i don't show like no rainbow in the background so it takes away that part but as you can see as well um you could go ahead and click points you could like play with this but i don't really touch that you got your tool tips i have no magnet selected so it's not locking onto the candlesticks i manually draw everything show on background i have that selected as yes the reason once again i want all my candles sitting on top of anything um so they're nice and clear i don't like indicators covering my candles i like my candles to pop above anything i draw indicator base drawing base doesn't matter um so it's pretty simple but once you're done playing around with all your settings on here you're gonna go down to this little gearbox and you're gonna go ahead and click preset you're gonna click that and then you could type in whatever preset name you want and then once you're done you're good to go and then uh, you're gonna go ahead and click the diamond and you can go ahead and find one of the presets you have and you should be good to go like this okay now that's pretty simple to do now when it comes down to using everything else it's pretty self-explanatory you click the setting bar and you can go ahead and click show you can show a hover bar a hover bar will then show all of these things the ohlc um the high and low and the, the close and the open of these candlesticks but i don't really like to have that open so i kind of like have that off um when it comes down to show navigation i don't have this on but show navigation allows you to play with the the candlesticks and you know go back in time and stuff like that i don't have that on so i have that as well off um and then you have the show a scroll bar which is a scroll bar on the bottom which i think is pretty cool if you want to use it you can scroll around on your charts play with your charts you know everything of that nature depending on what you're trying to do okay so i feel like that gives you some type of flexibility um if you are trying to like really you know move around on your charts really play with it this this allows you to do that and if you were to go around you can click this play button so you can go back and click this little play button and it brings you back to the current market um, but once again, I personally don't use this tool, but it's something that if you do want to use, it's definitely there for the individuals that want to like use it for a scroll feature. Okay. Now, once again, I don't use it, so I'm turning that off, which is here. Boom. Now, going into this, you can see that there is something else here. It says show trade markers, show order ladders, which are this black and blue thing over here. I'm going to get into that in a second. And show one click panel which is obviously one click trading so you definitely want to have that turned on now what's cool about showing these two ladders on this on the right side of the screen if i want to say let's say i want to do a buy position i will go over this black one because remember once again i made sure that i have my long positions black and my short positions blue right so you see black and you see blue here so if i go into the ladder that's black i'm looking for buy positions so i could set a penny order let's say right here and i could go ahead and change my lot sizes right here 
And if I want to put a, um, if I want, this is a penny cell, I do not want a penny cell. But if I want to, let's say, go over here to go up, it would be a penny buy, okay? Because it's supposed to be doing that for once again, it's black, boom. So I guess I clicked the blue one. So anyway, so penny buy, um, as you can see here, because I'm clicking the black one, as you can see, it's now checked. You can go ahead and select the lot sizes that you want. If I am doing a buy, just, you do three different clicks, right? So this is one click that I did here for the buy position. This new click that I just did is for my stop loss. So I'm putting a stop loss here. And let's say I want to do a TP, I could go ahead and click it here. So now I have three different tools. I could go ahead and click this gray button and let's say I want to actually set something up for let's say I want to take a trade today okay and I want to enter off to 61.8 I could go ahead and put a sell position if I wanted to short it by going to this blue ladder and highlighting it right over 61.8 clicking that right I could then go ahead and then highlight my stop loss right here at the 100 and I could go ahead and highlight right here on any TP1 where I wanted to go and I could go ahead and select my lot size depending on what's the RR. And to get the RR, all I have to do is go ahead and measure, right? So I could go here, click, measure up here, boom, and find out that's a 58 pip stop loss, right? I could then go ahead and calculate get my lot size due to the mass class, and I could figure out, okay, well, if I'm entering at 61.8, I'm looking around a 1-2, right? So if you think about it, you got a uh, 58 pips um, stop loss. You're gaining 134 pips. It's perfectly like around a one two. So it's pretty self-explanatory. And you can play around with your lot sizes. So using the ladders is pretty dope because it's like training on MetaTrader 5 on the iPhone. Now, I'll be honest. It's, it's pretty on point. And it tells you how much pips is there, what type of percent return that is for your account. Uh, you know, depending on like what you're going to use uh, when it comes down to the dollar amount. On the lot size so that's pretty cool you can go ahead and click the gray button it would basically take it away um once again i like to have my arrow my my cursor set to move so i can always move around on my charts um when it comes down to these tools as well you can see that you can set your chart temp um, templates if you are creating a template you can go ahead and save it i listed mine as sniper okay if you go ahead and click list, you can see all the other templates that you do have saved. And I'm going to show you how to create a template to save it. So you go ahead and click settings. And you can go ahead and click settings again. And then you're going to be able to copy my settings like you see here underneath general. Go ahead and pause this video and get the content that you need to actually, you know, get your settings right. You can go ahead and set your scales. Set any colors that you want. And once you have like the base of how I have mine set up, you can go ahead and change the colors to your own liking. Change the fonts to your own liking. But I just went pretty generic with black and blue all over the charts. Um, crosshairs, I left gray. Um, pretty much I left that line as well. Indicators, I did not touch at all. Current price, this is important. So I definitely changed how my app on my line looks. So I made sure that that's dotted uh, because I like my charts to really appear nice. Um, these are obviously two blue. And show time remaining um, is pretty cool because when you click this and it's on, you get to see how much time is left on the candlesticks and before they close. See? Boom. It changes. So that's pretty cool. Show time remaining does that. And then you can have the ask line if you want it on. I personally don't. Now you can see your components on what you want to have. And you can even have a watermark. And if you want it visible, not visible, if you want to change the color of it, you can. I have this one selected, so it's like their default settings. But you could even change the fonts on any of the watermarks that you do choose to use. And if you want to add your own custom watermark, you could upload your URL for it. And you could like set it to the center. You could stretch it. You could put it in a fit. You could put it to a tile. And it's up to you on how you really want to set your things up. But once you're done um, setting up your charts and your settings, you would go ahead and then go ahead and click save. Right. And then you want to make sure that you have all of these selected. If you do not have all of these selected, you will be basically wasting your time. So make sure you have all of these selected and save your template and um, you're good to go. So whenever I click Sniper, for example, it will basically load uh, my charts for the way how I like it. Now, here's the other options. You can have static selected. I don't have static selected, but you can. Uh, pretty much, you basically just reset your charts. 
Um, I personally, you know, it just makes no sense to even have it because I don't want static. As you can see, the ladder is gone. There's certain things that are gone. I don't have that selected. And then even this is faded out. So I have that turned on. Okay. Now, chart titles, you can change chart titles. You can do unlast chart action. You can upload and download. Don't know what that does. Never play with it. Now, you can click this target bar as well. And you can see here um, all the price alerts. If you want to set a price alert, you can go ahead and make that as an option. You can set the colors. You can create the name of it, the message. You can play with so many different things on here um, that Sway allows you to. And then once again, you can even click this deal ticket and go ahead and select your, your orders. But once again, when it comes down to that, um, you can have it on set of simple. So it gives you this very generic one that's the default. But I like my set to full. So I could go ahead and put my market order, limit order, stop order. Um, if I want to change the lots, I could go ahead and change the lots. I could change the dollar per point, percent of equity, percent of balance. I could set a cash risk. If I want to only risk $100, I could set that. And I could say, okay, well, I only want to risk $100 and I only want to risk 50 pence. You can set that up if you want to. And as you can see here, it tells you, well, my order would be 0.20 with $100. But if I want to risk $100,000, as you can see, and now maxes me out at 100 lots. And I'm risking 50K for 50 pips. So this is all true to number. Um, so it's pretty simple. You can set it for buy option or a sell option. This does not mean that it, it, it puts your order into the market. It just means what position do you want to be on. And it changes for you, which is also pretty cool. You can do this instantaneous, instantaneously. And you can also set your TP as well um, if you want pips. For example, I want to you know risk 50 pips, but I want 100 pips stop loss. So I got a 2-1 set up right there. You could do that. It even has a risk to reward ratio. So if you do want to have a 2-1, you can set that or a 1.1 or whatever you want. Even if you want to set like, okay, I want to risk a 1-3, it allows you to do that. So I think this is actually pretty cool when it comes down to this uh, system, when it comes down to really, you know, understanding what straight charts can really do. And once again, you could click buy or sell and just change that anytime and go ahead and click buy or go ahead and click sell once again whatever you want to do and if you don't want to select the order you could go ahead and click this and it will go away now um when we go back to the home tab it shows you once again the, the spreads and everything so your chart will obviously look a lot smaller because it's showing you the spreads and it's showing you this but if you go ahead obviously i'm doing a recording so you're not gonna be able to see all of it but if you go ahead and click full screen this thing gets massive you know so you can see your whole chart uh, for what it is as you can see here i'm like playing with it in the box that i'm actually recording on but you can see um your charts does definitely change so you do have a nice clean layout as well but for recording purposes full screen does not work out to the best when it actually comes down to me teaching on sway charts um but for your own personal use outside of like recording content if you are a mentor or you do want to record content and show it to people i highly recommend that you um you know, you, you use anything between um, 1080 through, I think it's 1920. I forgot the, the actual ratios, but I'll definitely um, mention it later on. Like I am using a software to record my stuff on my PC just because I understand that this is a lot of screens to show. Now, it's not really much to really cover uh, besides the fact that you can set your workplaces. I did cover that as well. You can load your workplaces whenever. Um, if you just want to, you know, swap out your charts, for example, you can. Um, example, I'm going to save this workplace as gold done. So I could go over this real quick. Let's say I want to go into trading US 30 real quick. I could click it. Bang. Now I'm all of a sudden I'm inside US 30. I could go ahead and click charts. And then this one is obviously gold. So if I want to go here and load US 30, I could go ahead and look at US 30 in seconds. Just because I saved the, the template and obviously it's once again all these things are there as well so if you want to hide things you just go back into your settings and um, you just got to play with it that's actually indicators so go ahead and go ahead and click indicators and go ahead and you hide it and you just play with your settings as well uh, when it comes down to like really trying to figure out what you want to use on these charts and um, just have fun you know sway charts is definitely a very innovative platform once again and if you are looking to trade on Sway Charts, go ahead and click that link down below because Sway Charts is only for members only of Sway Markets. So with everything being said, hope everyone has a great trading year. 
and stay up to date with everything that's going on in the marketplace. Uh, so I'm going to end it off on this note. There's a lot of platforms using MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5. MetaQuotes is getting very strict. If you have a USA client trading on offshore brokers, MetaQuotes is going to remove that broker from MetaQuotes. It's a lot of weird stuff going on. It doesn't even matter if you're regulated or unregulated anymore. Did MetaQuotes just have a strict policy um, on what they're doing. So with Sway, they created their own platforms so and they don't have to deal with the headaches of MetaQuotes. But it became a very innovative thing. Now, there's other platforms out there that did lose their medical license. And it's kind of weird um, because they're unregulated, by the way. And I mean, if they are regulated, they're asking to be sued by MetaQuotes. They're actually offering illegal MetaTrader 4 and 5s. Because if you go to MetaQuotes, you, you know, on MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, and you search your broker, okay? It's very clear what your broker is, is the website that you go to on that brokerage. That will be the broker. So if you go ahead and search the broker and it does not appear on MetaQuotes and they're offering MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5, that is illegal. They have their license removed. So how are they offering it? If they are offering it, ask yourself some questions here. Is your money protected and safe? Is this broker unregulated or is it regulated? Like what is going on? If the broker is unregulated and they are offering you MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5, tons of different payment options and the whole nine yards, that is a very big red flag. That broker could get sued any day now by medical to offer an illegal license for people to use, okay? Um, some brokers are even offering gray labels where they're allowing other brokers to use their servers, which is also legal. So it's, it's a lot of weird stuff. Um, Sway definitely is not doing any of that. So that's why I even trust the broker. I trust Sway so much because they're actually regulated and they don't participate in the legal activity of what these other platforms are doing which you should question is your money protected or safe on those platforms if they're doing those shady weird things now with sway we know all our funds are protected it's accounted for it's safe the philly program we get paid out daily for promoting the platform okay which i personally like and we got to be real with ourselves we promote things every single day so why not promote the platform that pays right you got youtube that people promote and they get paid on it. You got Twitch, people promote and they get paid on it. You got OnlyFans, people promote and they get paid on it, right? Sway Charts, got Sway Charts and Sway Charts Pro for you to promote and you could get paid on it. So why not? And obviously this platform is very user friendly. It's just gonna take some time to learn, but for the most part, it's pretty cool. And that's all I really gotta say. If you like it, once again, click that link down below and I'll see you inside. My life real quick is out, peace.